who here knows what these are? What are they? Watercolor. Watercolor. Yeah. And uh, what's like one thing that everybody like should use with watercolors? I mean, it's paintbrush. Meaning. Water. Paintbrush and water. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know some of the techniques you can use? You can put the water on the paper, or you can. Yeah. Yeah, so putting the water on the paper first with no paint on the brush. That's called wet on wet. So you can't see it because it's just water. So I have a wet spot. I'm going to re-wet my brush. Make sure it's not dripping wet, right? Then you get some green. Makes it like a shade. Yeah. Or a tint. A shade is when you'll add like a darker color into it, you know? Tint is when it goes... Just a little bit lighter. Now, there's going to be another one. Now, if I added water to the paper, what could be the other one? Red. Well, red, but just going on with not adding water, right? Dry, dry. Or what are they? Yep. Huh? You could put water in my watercolors. Mm hmm. That's what I can do with this one. Now, my brush has water on it. And I'm going to go for some red. Now, remind. You guys, I didn't put any uh, water on the paper yet. So now, it's a little bit darker, and the lines also, you can tell where they are a little bit more, right? Like this looks a little bit more like a cloud, kind of, and that's more thick lines. Well, not thick lines, but more bold lines. Now, there's another one to where you can put more water on, and this is where you get your brush really wet again. Get some more watercolor on your brush. Then you kind of just like tap it. And slide it around. Yep, and then you can slide it around. Does everybody see the watercolors moving around with that? Mm -hmm. That's another way you can use watercolors. And now, what I have here is rubbing alcohol and salt. What works best when you use these is that you do the wet on wet method. So you're gonna wet your paper first. Okay, did everybody say? Yeah. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of purple. Well, that's a strong purple, right? Okay, who wants to see what one first? Salt. Salt? What do you think's gonna happen? It's gonna dry up. It's gonna dry it up. Make little rocks. Remember the salt water. If you mix it, if you mix it, it's gonna like bubble. Mm, no, not bubble, but. So ready? Yeah. So it starts soaking in all that water that you put down with the watercolors. So it dries up. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. It's almost unsmooth. What could you use to like paint, or what would you use that with when you're making a picture? Maybe like in a rocks. landscape, maybe for like rocks or like sand. Gravel sand. Sand. Gravel. Yeah. yeah. It's sand, it's and you can also use it for a bunch of other things. It doesn't have to be a landscape. So now I'm going to do wet on wet again. Wet my brush. Wet the paper. And I'll do some more purple just so we see the difference. Difference. Yeah. Purple looks cool, right? Mm -hmm. I like purple. Alright. Now, what do you think is going to happen with this one? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna spread. I think it's gonna bubble. Hmm? Whatever we see. It's gonna spread. Or foam. No, it's gonna direct it. That is awesome, Matt. Wow. So it kind of does spread out, but it also takes away a lot of that color in that one spot, right? If you put right? baking soda on it. <laughs> I've never tried baking soda. Maybe we have to try, try that one. Try it. That's right. You can make tie but so, we'll you can make tie I guess you have to experiment. It'll bubble, Matt. I'm not sure. It'll bubble. <laughs> it's just so All right. So, um, also one more thing. If you want to draw underneath first, have any of you ever put down? Oh, yeah. um, it's like a water. You do like, like a, a circle. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's almost. Makes it have like thicker colors. It'll, it'll mm -hmm. um, put it in um, spaces. So it won't. Because so the oil pastel is like a water barrier. So it's not going to let any watercolor onto it, right? It's going to no. kind of block it all off. Yeah, you can make a road out of it. Yeah, you can do anything. It looks like a field. Mm -hmm. Corn. I don't know. Yeah. So kind of that color like that you put down with the oil pastel is always going to come through when you put the watercolor on top of it, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's great if you want to draw like a portrait, landscape.
abstract painting, anything. Okay, so I'll leave that out there for anybody who wants to see. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you all. And I'm just going to be doing something called a triad tree. Now, the triad tree or incorporates all the primary colors. Do we all know the primaries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are primaries? Red, blue, orange, yellow. yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. yellow. What did we just use that on? We used that on the, the 3D, 3D, 3D city. The last okay. project we just used, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what you do is you don't wet the paper first. Okay, you just wet your paintbrush, and then you get some of that color. And your paint is, once again, not going to be dripping off. And you get another paintbrush. It can be a pencil, anything. But you start oh, yeah. tapping it. Rachel, you do this. So I'm gonna wash my brush. And now to make sure it's really clean, I'm gonna blot it first on my paper towel to make sure all that other colors off. Because I don't wanna contaminate the yellow with red and make it oh, what yeah. color? Orange, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Gonna, now I'm gonna colorful. keep doing every color. Well, not every color. Now I have yellow, I just, just need blue. Primary. Just my primaries. Do you have to use just primary, or can we use like other colors? You can use any color you want. This is just the name of the one tree that I found that I thought looked pretty neat, just using your primaries because the primaries mix into all those other colors. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can use it for whatever you the want. The blue makes like it pop out. The blue makes it a little bit more pop out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you're doing this, be very careful of your neighbors. I'm sure your neighbors don't want to be wearing paint, right? <laughs> right. Then, this is where the fun part is. You all stay there. I'm just grabbing a water bottle. Okay. okay. Now, find a water bottle, and you're not going to hold it right there, okay? You're going to go back about a foot awesome. and spray it. That's nice. Wow. Cool. Yeah. And then... I would leave it laying down if you don't want your colors to drip, but I don't know, maybe you do. Yeah. <laughs> when they start mixing. Wow. Yeah. But, so, these are some of the other things that I made using this method. I made the guy with the crazy hairdo. That's cool. <laughs> mm, what else? Oh, this is the tree that I did first. Oh, I like that. Awesome. So you can do landscape and whatnot really it easily. Like a so. Galaxy. You could use it for a galaxy, right? Green. And you could paint in all like different planets. But you paint in the tree afterwards when this is dry. Otherwise your brown's gonna get all muddy in that. And it's not really gonna have those like lines that you wanna see. What if you do the brown and the oil pastel? You could do that first. Yeah, that's a good point. You could draw out your picture first and then do that. And then I used what is this? A train. A train. Well train, but what method is that? We just used it on the last one. And the one before. Vanishing. Vanishing. Vanishing point. Yep. So you could even do a city with like chimneys and smoke coming out of it. Do everything. Do everything. Green. Yep. You could do anything you want. I like that. So today, <clears throat> what you have is your options to do. Are I know I heard some of you saying you want to finish up those vanishing point projects of the cities. I don't know. So you can continue doing that. Uh, you can incorporate some of these methods into it. Uh, you can use the tempera paint which is the paint that we use to paint in all those boxes last time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you can use drawing and collage. So you guys are pretty much free to do whatever you want. And you can start a new project if you want. So you can all get started. Mm -hmm. You want me to try to start on it? But see where it's wet, like awesome. it'll suck it up. But can I see what the like you want the salt? You want the rubbing of the salt? Can we try it on our own? The salt. Yeah. Whoa. That, that makes cool. it look cool. It makes the salt pop out more. So what should you do? What do you want to do? Like this is what I like. You can get. Right. So. What do you all want to do today? Do you want to all do watercolor? Do, do this. Aww. So have a, whoever wants to do with the watercolors, you can sit here for the time being and I'll walk some stuff over for you, okay? I think I want to do something like that. Yeah? You can still sit here and I'll bring everything over.
So uh, you can get pieces of paper though, or right up here. <coughs> See those white ones? Huh?